From Hollywood, it's the Smiley Burnett Show. Well, I might have gone fishing. Might have gone fishing. Got to thinking it over. Thinking it over. The road to the river. Dude, it's a mighty long way. It's a mighty long way. It's the Smiley Burnett Show transcribed with music by the Whippoorwills, songs by Sweet George Brown and the Gay Rancheros, yours truly, Joe Slattery, and starring the clown prince of Western pictures, Smiley Burnett. It's my lazy day. And now here's the guy who's just what the doctor ordered. A great big pill. Smile over there. Look who says things about me. If I had a face like that, I'd nail a board on it. You know? <laughs> I have just finished my first story here, Joe Caesar. Boy, it's a humdinger. Well, uh, what do you call it, Smiley? I call it hiccups, rheumatism, and sore throat. Now, why in the world do you call it that? Well, didn't you tell me to put everything I had into it? Oh, I <laughs> Oh, I'm disgusted, though. So I might as well tear up my play. I've worked on it for four years. That's the trouble, Smiley. All work and no play. <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't always been like that. One time I got $10 a word. You did? How was that? I talked back to a judge. Oh, oh I got $10 a word. Gee, yeah. Oh, it's awful, old Joe. Everything I write is a flop. My girl won't see me. You know, she's ashamed to be seen with me. You know what I'm going to do? What's that? I'll fix her. I'm forgetting girls. That's what. I'm forgetting girls. Me too, Smiley. I'm forgetting a couple right now. We'll go to the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! My baby left me at the station. She didn't say where she was found. I only know she's gone and left me another love. Perhaps she's found. She's gone, she's gone, but not forgotten. All she left was memories I know I'll never have another To share this lonely life with me For many years her love I cherished well, all right. I never dreamed she'd be a Share this lonely, lonely life with me. 
<laughs> they warned me when you kissed me, your love would ricochet. Your lips would find another, and your heart would go astray. I thought that I could hold you with all my many charms. But then one day you ricocheted to someone else's arms. And baby, I don't want a ricochet romance. I don't want a ricochet love. If you're careless with your kisses, find another turtle dove. I can't live on ricochet romance. No, no, not me. If you're gonna ricochet, baby, I'm gonna set you free. I knew the day I met you, you had a roving eye. I thought that I could hold you. What a fool I was to try. You promised you'd be faithful and you would never stray. Then, like a rifle bullet, you began to ricochet. And baby, I don't want a ricochet romance. I don't want a ricochet love. If you're careless with your kisses, find another turtle dove. I can't live on ricochet romance. No, no, not me. If you're gonna ricochet, baby, I'm gonna set you free. Hey, <laughs> while ago about all them plays I've written and everything, but you know, several years ago, I used to be on a program called the Hollywood Barn Dance with a feller called Cottonseed Clark, and he was always saying some poems that he'd written as Brush Creek Poetry. That He's right clever at it. Well, I got me a piece of paper the other day, and I wrote me one of them poems, and I call it The Guest Towel. How's about you play me some background music here? All right, here we go. Sooner or later in most folks' lives, they do some visiting around. It might be calling on folks nearby or in some distant town. You get an invite from your friends to come and spend the night. We won't go to any trouble, just relax and eat a bite. I know I've gone ten dozen times when friends would twist my arm. Thinks I, I don't get out enough and it just won't do no harm. But every time I visit folks, this is the last I say. It's them dead blamed lavender guest towels that just messes up my day. They say, now supper's ready, would you care to wash your hands? And I mumble, I guess I ought to, food tastes better, I understand. So I soap and scrub my pinkies up my wrists and down the back, and then my eye lights on them guest towels all strung out up on a rack. Pink and white and fancy stitching, starched and ironed with edges sharp, just a daring you to touch them. I just can't do it, ain't got the heart. Wipe your feet on mother's wedding veil, burn your sister's diary, yes. 
But to dirty up a guest towel turns me pale, I must confess. So I stand and eye the problem. Could there be a dirty rag, a shoe shine cloth, or maybe would there be a laundry bag? Just a standin' there a drippin', can't move round to look real good. Got on my brand new britches, dry them there? I guess I could. Then I think, why not air dry them? So I wave them round and round, looking like a helicopter trying to set down on the ground. Look like a boy scout on a mountain spelling out a word with flags. What I need with fancy guest towels, shoe shine clothes, or laundry bags. Slightly damp, I finish drying in the pockets of my pants, cussing to myself and vowing not to repeat this circumstance. And all the time I'm eating supper, my thoughts keep going back to them dad blamed fancy guest towels that was hanging on the rack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, well, sir, speaking about writing plays and writing songs and poems and things, we're, we're honored today to have a fellow that's written an awful lot of songs, an old boy that I took on the road with me years ago, a one Mr. Rudy Souter. Hello, Rudy boy. Hello. How are you? How Give do you? Yeah. Yeah. Good to we see. are pleased to have you, Rudy. Let's get right down to business now and let all our friends know who you are. Uh, the best known song you ever wrote was uh, Dear Oakie. Dear Oakie, That's yes, right. sir. And uh, you've written. Let, let, I want to report to the the Freeman Journal here. Uh, start enumerating there. Now, what's, what's another one? Oh, another one was Dark Outside. Dark and Outside, scared, and I'm Scared. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we've all sung that one. And then my theme song. Your theme song? Who dug this hole I'm in? Yeah. Say, how's about you sing Dear Oakie? <laughs> Dear Oakie. They always say the fellow that wrote the song sings it the worst. Let's see you well, prove it. Huh? You, here's the important thing. I never get to sing it. So you I don't, huh? Try you got a chance now. Dear Oki, if you see Arky, tell him Tex got a job for him out in California. Picking up prunes, squeezing oil out of olives. Dear Oki, if you see Arky, tell him Tex got a job for him out in California. Raking up gold, Playing fiddle in the folly He'll never have to worry about a place to live There's orange juice fountains flowing for those kids of his Dear Oki, if you see Arky, tell him Tex got a job for him out in California Taking oil wells, all he needs is a shovel Got a job for him out in California Picking up prunes, squeezing oil out of olives Oh, dear Oki, if you see Arky, tell him Tex Got a job for him out in California a Raking up gold, playing fiddle in the folly He'll never have to worry about a place to live There's orange juice fountains a-flowing for those kids of his Oh, dear Oki, if you see Arky, tell him Tex got a job for him out in California. A day can oil wells, all he needs is a shovel. You know, well, so folks, we sure have enjoyed having Rudy Souter on our show today, and Rudy's invited to come back again. I've got to hurry down to the Freeman Journal now and get that story in. You know, Joe, I heard the other day that uh, when a dog bites a man, that ain't news, but when a man bites a dog, that's news. Ain't that a silly way to get your name in the paper, though? <laughs> <laughs> folks, until we see you again, this is old Smiley Burnett saying, speak well of me, and I'll dare you to talk about me. Bye now. Smiley and all the gang are going to be back Monday at this same time and over these same stations. Joe Slattery speaking, reminding you that this is the United States Armed Forces Radio Service.